Greetings, my beautiful lovelies. Hello, it's Emmy. Welcome back. Today, I'm going to be tasting this. And this is a little can of snails. I actually found these at my supermarket. They're not cheap, though. This can was $8.99 for almost nine ounces of snails. And here is the kind of retro looking packaging. And they're made by the company Roland. This is actually a product of France. And on the back, very conveniently, are directions on how to prepare the snails. Snails, or escargots, as they're called in French, are eaten in France, and very traditionally with this butter sauce. I've eaten them once. I went on a family trip when I was a kid to Epcot Center, and in the France area, we ordered escargot, and I remember them being delicious. Like most kids, I remember catching garden snails, and I've read that you can take garden snails, and if you feed them lettuce, you can actually cook them and eat them. Have you ever done that? And if so, let me know in the comments. It might be something I might want to pursue, although I have to think of where I would get a supply of snails around here, but I'm sure I can make that happen. So let me know if you've eaten garden snails right out of your garden before, and if so, what do I need to do to make them for myself? Okay, until then, let's eat canned snails. <laughs> so let's make our butter sauce. Six tablespoons of butter, cause butter makes everything better butter. Got my little garlic press here. One clove of garlic. One teaspoon of finely chopped shallot. If you've never had shallots before, they're lovely. They're kind of a more stronger version of onion. A little bit sweeter, but more intense. Lovely. Put that in there. Salt. Pepper. Teaspoon of finely chopped parsley. That's beautiful. I mean, that's going to be good on anything. Oh my gosh. So now that our sauce is prepared, let's open up our can of snails. Do, 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 do. Escargot. I would love to learn the data on this. How many cans of snails the store sells a year. All right, here we go. Oh boy, look at those. Those are giant. I don't know my gastropod anatomy all that well, but I do see a foot here and not sure what that little piece is, but let's drain them, shall we? <laughs> wow, could fit a lot of snails in a can. Wow, definitely smelling them now. They smell a little bit like canned chicken. Yeah, they don't look all that pleasant. No, they don't. Confession, when I was a kid, I used to cut off the antennas of snails with scissors. Ah, I'm sorry, snails, I'm sorry. Now I'm about to eat you. God. Wow. I unfortunately do not have empty snail shells. I did not see them at either grocery store that I went to, but when we had them in Epcot Center, they had them in a little kind of a ramekin with little spots where each little snail sat. So in lieu of that, I'm going to use this little mini muffin tin and I'm going to place each snail in there with the butter sauce and have them that way. A little dollop of that into each little cavity. A snail into each tray. Get the fat ones, yeah. All right, top it with more garlic sauce. Now we're gonna pop this into a 400 degree oven until it's nice and bubbly. Bye, snails. It smells incredible though. That combination of butter, shallots, and garlic, gorgeous. All right, I'm going to choose this little fat one right here and put them in a little dish so you can see them better. So there's a little singular snail. It doesn't look like it's changed much. All right, let's give this a go. Bon appetit. Mmm. <laughs> and that's pretty good. And it's all about the sauce, the combination of butter, shallot, garlic, parsley, salt, and pepper. Super simple, but tasty and delicious. What I found really surprising is the texture of the snail. I was expecting it to be really rubbery, like a overcooked piece of octopus or something like that, something really tough to get through. But this was actually quite tender. I think they really, really cook this. There was a little bit of sand and grit in there, which was a little bit strange, kind of similar to when you eat shellfish sometimes, you can get a bit of sand in there. It's kind of a reminder that indeed you just consumed a snail. <laughs> Let me cut one for you to show the texture. This one got a little dangly bit on it, nice. So here's the foot. 
that part seems to be the most rubbery part. And even that is pretty tender. Kind of reminds me of chicken gizzards. If you've had really well cooked chicken gizzards, it has the same exact texture. This part that's inside the shell is much softer. Mm -hmm. It's actually pretty pleasant. There's a bit of a canned protein flavor to this. I associate that flavor with canned beef stew or even tuna fish. It's a little bit metallic and just the meat tastes a little bit different. I suspect that's a result of the whole canning process itself. And I'm sure that would be eliminated if you ate them fresh. So let me know in the comments below how you feel about eating snails. Have you had them before? Do you harvest them out of your yard to eat them? Let me know, I am all ears. And yeah, thanks so much for joining me. Hope you guys enjoyed that one. I hope you guys learned something. Share this video with your friends and follow me on social media. I'm on Instagram almost every day and you can see a little behind the scenes shots of all of my tastings. And yeah, thanks so much for joining me and I'll see you in my next one. Toodaloo, take care, bye. Bye. Do you have cougar breath? <laughs>